Happy Black Friday week! Hope you've been enjoying the cordless wall so far. Certainly been fun to put them together and showcase off two very nice vacuum cleaners from Tinko as part of their Black Friday offers on said cleaners. But we're going to trip back into a fairly normal Beko 1987 video now because, yeah, I have a fair few cordless cleaners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven that could be used on carpets, and then all of them plus the Vac Super Broom Sash Dirt Devil Broom Vac, which could be used on hard floor, although probably more for humour than actual cleaning. But today we are going to get the rug absolutely filthy and do a big old pickup demo test and see if any of these cleaners are better than any of the others. See if any issues become apparent and generally just have a bit of a laugh. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? This is the box of dirt that I have put together, which includes a big splod, probably quarter of a bag from the pneumatic, which I emptied because it needed to. There is some sawdust in there. And actually, we can deposit the fruits of the little demo videos that we've been doing this very week for and with Tinko, look, there's the A11. Oh, check out the A10, look. Oh, hello. Oh, did I not screw that back in properly? Must have not done. Fair enough. Pop you back on there. Look, we've got some dirt in the Pure One S12. Dirt everywhere, folks. We are very dirty indeed. There's even some dirt in the Phoenix and the green oat. There, look, very nice indeed. And yeah, God, we're going to be attacked by birds, it seems. It's a shame, really, because this has got Zorb in it. He can't have that. But yeah, we have ourselves some messy mess. And we're now going to spread this all over the rug. Phoenix! Some mess spreading later. I think we've got enough for four passes. So, we shall start with our newer entries we shall give I've reset and we are refilming the perhaps most important part of this video the bird is not in the room and it also gives me a chance to remember that I have another cordless vacuum cleaner I've forgotten about the bell drain roller cordless how could one forget about the bell drain roller cordless so we can include him as well. But to start with, we are going to grab the Tinkos, since that is the whole reason we are doing this video, to see how the cheap, not quite as cheap, and a bit more expensive off the range compares when we run them through a lot of, well, the tester. So let's start with the cheapest, the A10 Hero. All the machines will be on their you know, default setting, which in the case of the Tinkos is the lowest power. So we've got a bit of space to do a second run on Max if we need. But let us try this. Ah, that's not too bad at all actually you certainly get all of that up with a secondary go although <laughs> the theme of the day is going to be overfilling which is gonna gonna highlight any drawbacks with this cordless system if there are any now let's move on to the slightly more expensive a11 hero although obviously we have a little bit of a difference here because this has its three speed settings and I've realised that this on low is a little bit less powerful than the A10 on its setting one and then obviously this comes more powerful with setting three, setting two is about the same so see if that handicaps it in any way. Oh, 
that floor head's doing a fair bit off the heavy lifting, I'll be honest. And I think it would be rude not to stick the A11 Hero into Max, since it's the most powerful, or all the um, joint most powerful, I think the S12 is the same, and see how that does. Obviously, it can pull the dirt away quicker. We'll see here that, that it's not bad, but there is still a fair bit of fine debris. So, into Max. That was a lot better, but oh my goodness. Well, look, you can see how clogged it is, look, because it's see-through. Whoops. Never do this, people, in real life. Oh no, my box is all the way over here, because, yeah, I can't leave that in there. But yeah, that head, well, this machine on Max did do a much better job. Oh, crikey. I'm not going to look at the filters yet. I want to save that for in a bit. Yeah. Uh -oh. Again, fairly easy to clean it through if you decide to be quite silly and do a humongous mess test like this. There we go. Not too bad. Right, let's get the S12 set up. Pure one S12. We'll start off low because we'll start off in auto and then it's going to ramp itself up pretty quickly. Let it dip down. There we go. Oh. Oh my! Right. The iLoop technology there on the S12 proving that ah, that isn't bad, mainly because obviously it can ramp its power up accordingly rather than me insisting on leaving it on its lowest default setting. And then finally, I didn't do it before, so no, not finally, is it second from last? We do have another machine to do, is the Beldre Lower Quarter. Slow there. But the Hoover H Lab head proving really good at the carpet. And actually, I'm going to quickly take the top off. This is the first time I've really used this in a mess test. Oh, very full, very full indeed. And a little bit of sawdust in the bottom there. So, eh. Fairly average performance there from the Beldre Roller Cordless. And finally, for this carpet segment, the Greenote GSC50. See how it compares. Okay, quite a bit of snow plowing, but not bad. Not too bad at all. Obviously, this has quite a soft ish roller, so. It's always going to be a little bit handicapped. Very good indeed. Right, we're about to dive into the like actual bit of this video that I filmed properly before my pet decided to stop recording. But because obviously I'm not going to carry on with this today, we need to clean up the rug. And I'm going to use the A10 Hero, but on Max, and show you how good it actually can be. Getting full, getting full, haven't died yet, mate. Oh, I can feel it. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Quick empty.
very good indeed. Very good performance. And now we're going to have a quick look before we dive back to past Beko at the filter to see that although it started to collect a bit at the bottom, once you, you know, knock that off, that's not as filthy as the previous models got. I mean, it's still there. That's that's my caveat, really. That's probably, you know, when you get two filters, you can wash them. The, you know, it's there, but yeah, that's the thing. But equally, I can pick all that fine dust back up again and it's absolutely fine. Right, back to past Becco and like <laughs> the bit of the video that I actually did film. One of the problems with using dirt from the pneumatic look is that there's all sorts in here. I pulled out stones, pen tops, cough, that's pneumatic. It all goes up. In fact, talking of pneumatic, because technically he is a cordless, let's use the MBV with the Henry cordless floor tool and the conical hose because we didn't last time, did we? Oh, what's going on with my cable? We didn't last time because obviously we had the head that it came out the box with. Is this going to do any better? We'll keep it on low. Oh, snow powering. Well, it did better than the green oat. <laughs> it actually pretty well indeed. That's just a straight suction floor head really doing its thing. And talking of straight suction floor heads, let's give the Vax Vaxette a go. Because hey, it was touted as a full size replacement dish cordless back in the day. Let's see how it does. <laughs> didn't clog up, bless him, he did all right, especially for a very vintage machine. Finally, the Ezine Eye Life machine that I quite like for hard floors, but I don't rate it too much for carpet, although it won't snow plow. Mm. much else either. It's not even a speed setting. This is on max. It's just a vacuum for hard floors. Talking of hard floors, let's have a go on that. Although before we move on to the hard floor, we need to refill the testers and we'll have a look at what the machines are like. Now I think we may have overdone it on the volume of dirt certainly. Here is the Green Oat GSC 50. Bless it. Oh you gotta how do you come out you twist don't you? Pop you off. Twist this off. Filter not too bad. Hey not too bad already. We're not gonna we're not going to change it now. Oh, Jesus. Get this out so that we can, there we go, look, empty all of the sawdust out, like so. The brush roll on the, well, the floor head on the green oat also sadly copped it very badly indeed with a massive clog. Oh, look, caught, ah, caused by a post it note of some description. Works fair enough. Our oh, mistake. There we go. Oh, no, look. Ah. <laughs> Another flipping stone. Oh, dang you, pneumatic. Why are you so good at picking up stones? Not entirely sure what the Vaxet would have picked up. Probably not a horrific amount. Oh, oh there I've got a cut. There we go. Cut tape. We can just pull the tape off. Ooh, not bad. Not bad for the 1980s amongst the room. Yeah, nice and empty. Vac set cleaned out. Didn't even clog the floor head look. Oh, I did a little bit. Oh, just barely. On to the A11 now. 
There we go. I've got to look. We've really overfilled that. Oh, I don't think the filters are going to be terribly clean now. Shall we? Shall we have a peek? Ooh, okay, a little bit of fine dust there. That's not horrific. I'll be honest. Look, we'll give that a, a tap out and then call that done. I don't think it clogged. So these floor heads are amazing. Yes, look, unlike the Pure One S12, which has that sort of ridge down there, this doesn't. So all the dirt just flew straight up. Oh, lovely. Indeed, is that. We have the other. Tinko, now I have actually emptied this because I used this to clean the rug like after, after we filmed that, so it isn't actually very dirty at all. Although its filter is quite dirty after effectively two rounds through, so we'll, we'll, we'll do that as well. So I don't, we, we don't have to be fair. I do think this one runs a bit more powerful on the old setting one though. And again, the floor head wasn't clogged. Anyway, oh, the Pure One S12, bless you. We empty this, untwist it to get the overfill out. Whoops, sorry, I think we did do a bit too much dirt there. Its filter is actually very clean. Indeed, it must have clogged the shroud before it, before it got to that stage. And then, oh, turn this on because there's a bit of dirt falling out the floor head. And then finally, Bless it, didn't think this was going to do particularly, blimey, particularly well on the carpet. But there is everything to play for on the hard floor and oh blimey, <laughs> lots and lots and lots of dust on there and a very fiddly cyclone entry. What's the filter like on this? Spotless. Hey. Not bad, just not for hard, yeah, not for carpet. But yes, we do. Oh, we have a little bit of a clog, but again, it's got a, a bit of a barrier in the back of the head. Oh, well, there's a cable tie. We can forgive that. We won't pick that back up. Yeah, OK. Not too bad at all. Right, I'm going to reset to go again, but I have a big pile of cordless vacuum cleaners next to me. But this time, perhaps a little bit less dirt, because I think that was just too much for the cleaners to handle, really. But they handled it all right. <laughs> I spread the muck as best as I can. It's quite difficult on the hard floor because obviously whenever I try and you know, even it out of it, it all just skims around, not like on the carpet, where you can scrub it in really well. I think we're actually going to start with the Ezyn Eye Life because it's going to do the best on this carpet, or this carpet, on this hard floor, if it doesn't clog up. Oh dear. Oh blimey. Well, it got the bits up. I mean, what more do you want? Hey, we could be really silly look because we're doing hard floor. In fact, this bit here is perfect look because it's just what the VAX Super Boom yeah, is for. Ready? Let you brush and then you sweep. Oh, thank you. There goes the battery degradation. We could put the vax down and get, oh, where are we? It's American Cousin Out, my Dirt Devil Boom Vac, which I was very kindly given by a viewer. In fact, this is Jeff. Yes, it, it does have a filter in it. Check that before we go and destroy a very rare machine. Listen to the sound difference. Oh, what? Oh, I've had that on charge. Well, we haven't got time to charge it up now, so eh, we shall put you there and we'll pop you on charge on the wall of cordless and we'll see if we can get some life out of you later. Let's do the Tinko Pure One S12 and a very quick check that there's no like stones or anything that's going to clog it straight up. No, 
I think we're fine. Let us try out this. Oh, lots of snow falling. Ready on the cup. Oh. badly at all. Next up we're going to use the green oat and then we can do the Tinko A and 10 11s afterwards. So let's see if the green oat can do any better this time. Oh, there we go. Oh. oh I can't. Definitely a theme with these cheaper vats, they're good on the old hard floor and the green oak doesn't belch out dirt afterwards either. Very nice. Right, let's get to the two tinkos set up. Okay, we'll do the A11 Hero first. Oh, snow fell. And it's nice you're picking everything up now. And that probably gives us a fair indication of where the Tinko A10 is going to go. Yeah. What have we clogged you with? Well, no, you're not clogged down there. Ooh. Ooh, what's going on? Oh gosh, yes, we have done something to this brush roll. Ah, oh, flipping. Ooh. Should have checked all this dirt out first, really. They're also snow plowing quite a lot because ah, the heads are just quite, quite low to the ground, really, which is a bit. Oh no, look, it's in the one as well. What if we. Ah, bit of. Whatever that is. But of course, we, can, we could use. Oh, where are we? One of the two one tools is a golfer tool. Which works a lot better. I can feel it being quite full. She's clogged, Jim. She's full. I think. I think that calls it done for the cordless stick vats. Let's, let's clean this mess up with the one remaining cordless that we haven't used.
Well, cordless vacuum cleaners have certainly come a long way since the vax, vax set and it is mainly for the better. Tinko, you are producing very good quality vacuum cleaners. They certainly last. They're not the end word in everything really. They're just really, really good at everything. The floor head, snow plow, a little bit on hard floor, but that was an excessive and far too much amount of dirt. It also proves that sadly bagged and tub are still good for chunky debris. Even cordless ones like the pneumatic there. Look, he's too small. You can't wall mount a pneumatic. Bit of a shame. Yeah. So that was just a bit of fun really this video, you know, exercise the tin goes, take them out for a walk, blow off the cold bones. I'm now going to stop filming for a couple of days now actually, before I need to film the next video in this series, which is going to be the last Black Friday video. I'm going to use each of those, the A10 and the A11, for a couple of days each, generally daily, no extra mess, just normal, and we shall see how they do already. These filters aren't too bad. No, oh. The filters aren't too bad. I mean, they are a little bit dirty. In fact, I know what we were going to do. We were going to see if the filter cleaner works with the pneumatic, weren't we? It sort of will if I hold it in place whilst we do it. Yes, oh yes, oh yes. That works very, very well indeed. Certainly, I would say, a fair bit better than if we just get the A11 filter out, which isn't too bad, admittedly. But, I don't know, the problem is, this may be a only vacuum and you can't do that. Because normally, you put it back into the cleaner. There you go, look. And, I mean, they hadn't done it there, but it can have the effect of transferring the fine dust around. And, yeah, if you've got another vacuum, I would certainly look into seeing if you could fit that to it. Oh, my goodness, where do I put everything? In order to make it work. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to clean all the filters, clean them up nicely, and just use them for a couple of days, and then give you my final thoughts and opinions, and round off the last day that the Black Friday offers will be on from Tinko. So, yes, links in the description to... Probably all three of them actually, the S12, A, there, yeah, there, the S12, A10, A11, blah, 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 give you links to all of those, and yeah, comment, which was your favourite, which do you think did the best, and which do you think did the worst on the hard floor, sadly it was a bit of a disappointing fail from the S12, but I'm still very impressed with that A10, I think that is a very, very good cleaner, especially for the price indeed, so... That's it for now. See you in a day or two with a one last Black Friday video. And I and these will see you soon. Bye bye.